This is Twit. Speaking of Mozilla, uh, in pre-COVID January of this year, Mozilla cut 70, 70 people from its workforce of approximately 1,000. And now, citing the need to respond to COVID as the impetus, another 250 have been laid off. Mozilla said that the, the primary casualties of last week's layoffs were the developers working on the company's experimental servo browser engine and Mozilla's threat management security team. The threat, manage, the threat management security team is the team that investigates security reports and performs incident response. The team that fixes bugs in Mozilla's products is still in place, according to sources and a Mozilla spokesperson. So going forward, Mozilla said that they will be rethinking their core business model, whatever that means, and putting more focus on financially viable products. Mozilla Corporation CEO and the foundation's chairwoman said, recognizing that the old model where everything was free has consequences means we must explore a range of different business opportunities and alternative value exchanges. Again, okay, whatever that means. She said, we must learn and expand different ways to support ourselves and build a business that isn't what we see today. Um, so some assume that this might include a stronger focus on their new VPN offering. They have high hopes for that, uh, as we, we, we covered it when it was formally launched last month. Uh, it turns out that VPN, VPN apps and services are one of the biggest money makers in tech today. And despite having arrived late to the game, Mozilla believes that they may, they may be in a good position to, you know, like to leverage their reputation, their strong privacy first position as a civil and privacy rights advocate. So, you know, clearly they're looking around for something they have of value uh, to, to keep them afloat. I think and unfortunately, they don't do adding own, further uncertain. I think they don't Sorry? do their own VPN. I think they're relabeling a third-party ah. VPN, which doesn't really mean yeah, much at all. It's that just, you know. doesn't say exactly. Yeah. Right. If, and, of course, uh, adding further uncertainty to the mix is the fact that Mozilla's contract to include Google as the default search provider inside Firefox is expected to be expiring. Well, that the existing contract is expiring later this year, and so far it has not been renewed. Yeah, that's with a Google. big deal. That's that's the bulk uh, of their revenue. The, yeah, exactly. Ninety percent. The Google deal has extor has historically accounted for ninety yeah. percent of Mozilla's revenue, and without that, Mozilla's future is uncertain, to say the least. Uh, and, and as I well, we talked about this during the, the the top of the show, I strongly dislike the idea of having just two dominant browsers, uh, pretty much two browsers at all in the world, Safari and Chromium, since everybody else is except Firefox is Chromium based. Best solution. Um, everybody it, use Firefox. You want to support it, use it because they make yep. money when you use it. You don't have to buy something. Just use it. Yep. Yeah. And so I'm, I'm I helping them that way. I know oh, you my are. my favorite, yep. Uh, yeah. And as we've noted, the, the browser has become most people's effective operating system. Yeah. I know, Leo, when someone calls you on the weekend uh, during your uh, Tech Guy radio show and asks whether they should get a Windows machine <laughs> or a new Mac, you know, you first ask them, what Chromebook. do they need a computer for at all? <laughs> yeah, really? Get a Chromebook. And, and then, the browser. you know, and then you say, get a Chromebook. Yeah. Because th you're right. That's all they need. And a Chromebook is basically a bootable Internet browser. Yeah. So my point is that browser. By the way, that might be one of the things so that's hurting Firefox is, you know, iPad and uh, Chromebooks, neither of which use Firefox, you know. Yeah. 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 So, so, you know. Browsers have grown insanely complex with so many features and bells and whistles, uh, and they are so prone to attack 
because they are the piece of ourselves that we stick out there on the internet. By the way, just and, and in they're like an op just in a couple of days ago, they did do that deal with Google. So the default search engine within Firefox until 2023 will be Google. Uh, so at least they've got that. Yay. That's worth between Good. 400 and 500 flat. million a year. Wow. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Well, Good. So, so maybe they just need to scale their ambitions down. I, I don't understand how COVID affected them, but you know that was what they said. Um, so, good. Let's hope they stay around. Um, uh, and I did have a note in our miscellany section, which simply observed, because I thought this was sort of interesting, that Firefox Send is still offline. I went there to check yesterday, and yep, it just says we're temporarily offline while we retool. And, you know, clearly they have other things on their minds at Mozilla. So I wouldn't want to hold my breath for that free service returning. Um, it was my favorite, uh, but I may need to return to FileMail, which is, you know, what I've been using before that. 